On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, Victoria encounters a massive Mastiff problem. Owner Chad has allowed his three best friends to take over the household, much to his wife Melissa's dismay. Roman's anxious habits are getting on everyone's nerves. Oh, well, he's peeing. Oh, now he is. he is. Oh, good. If you were my husband, you'd be out. Hello. Hello. Hi. Wow. Hello. Hi, Roman. Oh, yeah. Victoria, I'm Chad. And this Hello. is Melissa, and this is Sarah. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet oh, you. my goodness. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Slobber. Yeah. Do you want to come, come over here, Victoria? Come over here, Victoria. You can really yes. safe for over here. Sorry. Come I on. just got a whole bit of Did you? mastiff slobber in my mouth. I had slobber all over me, on my pants and on my sweater, everywhere. As they head into the bedroom, Victoria gets a second enthusiastic greeting from Roman. Oh, well, he's peeing. Oh, he is? He is. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. That's, uh, that's not a good thing. Yep, that's not a good thing. That one yep. goes into the washing. That one's definitely yeah. out. Roman does urinate on the floor. It's dangerous because of Sarah being in there, and I'll pick her up and we'll go to another room because it's so unsafe. As Chad takes care of the dogs, Melissa is left to take care of the mess. Does this, does this happen every day or only when you have guests? Only when we have guests. Only when you mm -hmm. have guests. Who wanted these dogs? Chad. Chad wanted the dogs. Chad. We got Judge, and I woke up one morning to Chad knocking on the door with a puppy in his arms. Mm -hmm. But then Lucas was a 45-minute discussion in a pet store. But then Roman was another surprise for me. I came home from work, and there was a little Neapolitan Mastiff running across the front yard to greet me. He said, you can't say no, I just bought you a new car. Mm -hmm. Buy her a new car, butter her up a little right. bit, and then get another right. dog. Right. <gasps> I was not very happy about it. I didn't exactly want three big dogs, but I am the one taking most of the responsibility for them. So I am a little resentful of that. And also, the other day, for the first time, he told me that he wouldn't mind having a fourth. <gasps> Just so you know. Um, <laughs> Another I, one? Yeah, there's no way. One thing Chad and Melissa do agree on is Roman's desperate need of a bath. But that has proven extremely difficult thanks to Roman's fear of water. Roman, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Ooh. Come on, Roman. It's OK. Come on. come on. Oops. Come on, Roman. It's a good doggy. Yeah, he is. He's such a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. He's a good doggy. It's OK. He just goes berserk. I have to keep a chain on him. And so, I mean, it's very difficult to wash him. So what I've done is, of course, like just everything else, when it's difficult, I don't do it. Roman is stinky. Plus, he sheds a lot. So it's important that Chad is able to bathe him. Now, she wants to sit down with the couple and discuss what she has seen. I'm full of slobber. <laughs> Urine has gone on my boots. And that's what you live with every day. Yes. It's a constant. You have a, a, a nervy dog in Roman. I think it's a sort of an anxiety excitement. Mm -hmm. It's a nervous excitement. Right. That's what it is. Chad, I don't understand how you can manipulate so well to get these animals into your house and then not do that much work with them. I believe that when you get an animal and you're bringing it to be part of the family, you have to respect the rest of your family's views about getting that dog. Yet you seem to have got really impulsive, really in the moment, and then I'm going to bring the dog home, she's going to see the dog, and it's almost like you're lost in all of this unreality, and then bang! Yes. You got three dogs. You said it. That's exactly it. Your idea of a fourth dog, if you were my husband, you are a fourth dog, you'd be out. Yep. So listen to her. I'm gonna listen she to her. says no more dogs. Say it, Melissa. Yes, absolutely. No more dogs. No more dogs. Melissa. Yes. Have you told him all this before? I have. Absolutely. Yes. Why did you not listen to her? Why is it taking me coming in here to get this through to you when you should be listening to your wife? Well, Melissa gives me, gives me really good advice about not going out and getting other animals, but she hasn't, you haven't really been too much about. Wait, but you, you go out and get them anyway. Well, I haven't done it in a couple of years. Wow. If you want these three dogs in your home, you are now going to step up to the plate, take responsibility, and do the stuff you need to do with these dogs to make their lives better. Let's do it. Now, she wants to address Roman's overbearing behavior at the front door. When I first came through the door, not only were you having to pull Roman back. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Wow. Whoa. But when I came in, 
there was pee. I think that he's peeing because he gets nervous, but also he gets excited because he hasn't had a lot of exposure when he was young to new people. So the excitable P is going to lessen a lot more when his life experience changes. Roman is basically unconfident, but if you give him a ritual that he has to perform every single time somebody new comes to the door, he's not gonna get nervy anymore and he's not gonna pee. The first stage is to get Roman just to wait so he doesn't charge out the door. Okay. I am a little anxious because I'm not sure what Roman's going to do. I'm going to just open the door. Okay. Back. Roman is a big, heavy, pretty willful dog, but I wanted to claim my space at the door, and I did that using body blocking. Stay. Stay. You can see him thinking. I'm just going to go out. Stay. And I'm going to ring the doorbell. Stay. When I rang the bell, Judge and Lucas, who were actually behind the baby gate in the kitchen, started to bark. The barking riled Roman up as well, but it was really important that I keep my cool and keep doing what I was doing. Stay. 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 Re-in again. Stay. Stay. Good. I'd almost have to say that's like a magic trick. Roman's next challenge is to stay equally calm when a guest arrives. Bear in mind that when this person comes, just because Roman hasn't been exposed to a lot of people, he still might pee. Okay. Chad, now you're going to take over. Okay. Sounds good. So take it away. Okay. When I come over to bring the doorbell or whatever else, Roman just goes nuts. Roman? Roman? Over here. Please provide me some space. How are you today? Stay. Chad talks. Come here. No. And talks. I think um, we need to switch places. And talks to Roman as if Roman is a human being. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. OK, too much talk. OK. And I'm saying you're confusing him. If you want him to do something, make it easy for him to understand. Said. Make sure that you use a very simple word. Stay. And use it once. Good morning, Matt. Stay. Thank you. How you doing? What's going on? While Chad took some time to get a handle on the technique, Roman's performance has been impressive. Roman was incredible today. I mean, it was a huge difference. Now he is peeing again a little bit, but I knew that he would. The fact that Roman peed so little gives me hope that in the future, when more and more guests come through that front door, it's going to be no big deal. He's not going to feel the need to pee. Hey, Rose. Having won the battle in the kitchen, now Victoria wants to conquer Roman's colossal fear of water. Come on. These gloves are great, because what they do is they, they sort of massage as well as taking hair out. Yeah. But also, you're, what we're going to do in the end, we're going to get them wet. OK. I use gloves to begin with that are especially designed for washing and grooming a dog. Good boy, Rose. Yeah. Good dog. I showed Roman and then I stroked him. No big deal. I'm going to go over to the pail. Okay. I then went over with one glove, dipped my hand into the warm water, came back to where Roman was and started to groom him again. He's Hi. like, ooh, something's different. <laughs> You're getting the dog used to having the wet feeling on his skin. Right. So I'm going to go over to the water again. OK. I repeated this a couple of times, and then I got Chad to do it. Oh, you're so good. And we kept on doing this, getting closer and closer to the pail of water, until we were right next to the pail of water and put wet on his back. No big deal. So he's pretty wet now? He is very wet. He's fully wet. Good. You just got your first mini bath. Chad seems to be very confident in his abilities to do the training, but I wonder if he really will follow through. Later in the week, Victoria checks in on the couple's progress. I'm eager to see if Chad and Melissa have kept up with their homework. 
This is the magic glove. The magic glove, Roman. Good boy, Rums. Good boy. Yes. Look at that dog. As far as washing Roman, I was real surprised. He took right to it. His anxiety towards water has really improved. And uh, now I feel confident that, you know, I can absolutely bathe him. Come here. Good boy. Well done, Chad. By the looks of things, I would never even guess that Roman was ever afraid of water. Hold on, guys. Come on. Judge. So we've had people come over. Um, it has not been 100% perfect, it's but okay. it's certainly been much more successful than we have been in the past. Stay. No peeing. Stay. If we just keep working with it, we'll be in good shape. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.